It's not that I'm so clever, but the others are so stupid. <laughs> Parsons School of Fashion Design and there was a, going to be a big ball, carnival ball Parsons had for, I was in the arts class and I said to my roommate, I'm going to go as the first movie band and I made myself a black satin dress with a black satin turban and I was young, beautiful and skinny and when I came into the party not even the teachers recognize me. And one of the teachers says to the other teacher, who is that girl over there? And I said, that's Alexis. Will you tell him to come here? And they congratulated me, and I won first prize. And that was the first time that I discovered from the people that I had a special gift. in New York then was fabulous. It's not like today, they are pretentious. Nobody was pretentious, they were artists, they were daring. They loved what they did. That's what makes an artist. I used to go dressed up as Malena Ditti to party, but not just like these people that imitate Malena. I captured her beauty, her elegance. I would wear tuxedos, and I would pose like her, and talk like her, and it was enchanting, so they used to tell me. I met a lot of great photographers in New York, Marcus Blakeman, Mabel Thorne. I say no to Mabel Thorne because he was photographing guys with muscles and sexual things. But I was about glamour and old Hollywood. So I decided not to pose for him. And some friends of mine who were social climbers said, oh, you're making a mistake. I said, no, I'm doing what I want. My mother used to tell me, darling, everything you do is art. To me, beauty and truth were my goals. I saw if I knew those two things, that's all I needed to know. And my education was completed. But today, in the world that we live in, not so. In the late, late 60s and early 70s, the in-group to be in New York, if you were a bohemian or an artist, was the Andy Warhol factory. And as I was involved with all the arts and the creativity of this city, one night I was invited by Jackie Curtis. He brought me in, and he was in the dumpiest part of town, not elegant at all, in a dumpy building. When the elevator opened, it was a magical world. Every corner was something different, and he had their photographers and artists and drug addicts and society people. 
Oh, it's fantastic. The electricity that was in there. And the world superstars. Let me tell you, darling, they were pathetic. Some of them didn't know how to dress, but that was not the idea then, to be dressed up. Though they really liked to copy 1940s and 1930s. As I studied in New York in Parsons, I was very knowledgeable about the look and how to impersonate a movie star. So Candy got it. Jackie got it in his own way. He was brilliant. And Holly Lola never got it. Holly Woodland. She's still alive. She's my friend. Andy Warhol. He asked me to be in a film. But as I consider his films sort of tacky. I didn't consider they were going to be hard and now they're going to be... They're still boring today if you look at them. But that's why I wasn't in one of them, because I saw him he was tacky in his films. And I wanted to do movies with drama, like Garbo, Dietrich. And he was doing things about common people. I didn't want to be that. In the old days, the movies were art, done by artists and professional people. Today they are done by everybody and it's like Oscar Wilde said, the books are written by everybody and read by nobody. There is a point in your life that you really don't give a hoot anymore. I've been posed and disposed. And right now, it's not important to me to be photographed or not to be photographed, to be beautiful or not to be beautiful. I did it already. Why should I repeat myself again? I never repeated myself. I was always different in every act. that today's people are so unacknowledgeable. I mean, it's pathetic, depressing, 
and sad, and he's against death because he acknowledges his power. If I die, I am missing nothing. Darlings, after many springs, dies the swan.